y'all, listen, come on in, come on in. This is Chrissy T, and I'm back with some tea, honey. These internet streets have been buzzing all damn day. First of all, Candace Dillard Bastard has left the building. She has quit the Real Housewives of Potomac. Um, She is not coming back. Well, she ain't coming back anytime soon. Robin Dixon, on the other hand, has been kicked out, fired, terminated, given her pink slip, given the boot. So I'm doing a three for one today because initially this video was supposed to be about Mia Thornton and her paternity scandal involving her oldest son. Is the child Gordon's? Is the child the side dude? I don't know. She don't know. They don't know. Why? Because no paternity has never been established. Mind you, this child is at least 10 years old. Gordon has raised a child as his own during Mia's pregnancy. He was told there was a chance the child might not be his. Despite this, he was prepared to accept the child as his own. But here's where things get messy. This child has grown up believing Gordon is his father. And now, thanks to national television, he's learning that might not be the case. So Mia's high school sweetheart, known as Ink, has always believed that the child was his. But my question is, why hasn't he pushed for paternity? And most importantly, how does a child feel about this news? Um, what really bugs me is that the kids knew that um, mommy had a sneaky link. And I'm not that that don't sit well with me. The kids should not know what's going on in adults' business. Just messy. Um, so now they got to deal with going to school, being teased about their mom being a thought. Not my words, but just a reflection of how harsh kids can be at school. So recently, Mia made an appearance on Watch What Happens Live, and she was accompanied by her side dude, who she refers to as her fiance, but I'm going to call it as it is. Her side dude. Because she and Gordon are not officially divorced. So Andy asks her what did she expect the conversation to look like between she and Gordon on last night's episode. Um, she says she expected Gordon to act exactly as he did. She joked about him needing a wig and a skirt and that he's the next housewife. So Gordon accused Inc. of trying to ruin his marriage, but Mia said that's not the case. She was planning to leave the marriage regardless of whether Inc. was in the picture or not. I believe her because the money was running low and Mia was headed for the dough. She was already planning her exit. Gordon messed up his own marriage by thinking Mia was with him for anything other than his money. If you got Mia being wealthy, you're going to need to be wealthy to keep her. And you know what? I don't feel bad for Gordon at all. Mia proudly bragged about being Gordon's side chick. He couldn't possibly think this woman wanted anything other than his money when they got married. Uh, mind you, he's 30 plus years older than her talking about ink ruin his marriage. How do you think your first wife felt? Gordon got a taste of his own medicine and it was it was bound to happen. So Mia goes on. She admitted to cheating during her marriage. And her excuse was that she wasn't sure if Gordon was the man for her. But why would you marry him? She said Gordon was all about threesomes and she didn't want. She was about it in the beginning, but she didn't want that to continue in her marriage. Um, I call BS. I believe Mia cheated because Gordon wasn't satisfying her uh, sexually. So she decided to get ink as a sneaky link. And I don't even know if this is real because Mia lies so much. She is an habitual liar. So I don't know if none of this is real. Um, but what I do know is she, the sneaky link of hers, Mr. Ink, he's been on so many interviews about her uh, on a press tour. I think he's an opportunist. I think that he is definitely trying to get on. And Ink, I hope you're paying close attention to how the situation is working out. Number one, you was her side dude for 10 plus years. Um, she left her husband because his money ran low. So pay attention because when your money is gone, guess what? Mia's going to be gone. So I'm going to play the lies that were told. Uh, well, that Mia told on Watch What Happens Live. 
And then we'll get into Candace and Robin. Finale. When news of the separation broke and you knew cameras were going back up to capture you and Gordon, what did you expect that conversation to look like? Because, uh, yeah. I mean, I expected Gordon to do exactly what Gordon did. You know, he needs a wig and a skirt. He's the next housewife. Oh, boy. For sure. In tonight's episode, <laughs> Gordon accused Inc. of trying to break up your marriage. What was he referring to? Does he have a point? No, there's no point whatsoever, because even if Ink wasn't in the picture, like, Gordon and I were definitely still on the road of separation. Um, you are adamant that you didn't marry him for money, so why did you want to make a life with him if you were having an affair while engaged? No, I didn't have the affair until after. Okay. We weren't, it was after. Okay. Um, and, you know, there were some things that happened that I realized that I just didn't know if I knew who I had married. Um, you know, despite how volatile that conversation was, Gordon seemed to be willing to try to reconcile yeah. for the sake yeah. of the kids. What, mm -hmm. Why did you not want to, and how is co-parenting going? So co-parenting is going great, Annie. Good. Yeah, it's oh, going great. Good. Yeah, Gordon actually is at the penthouse right now with okay. our kids. He has been there for a whole week. He good. seems and like he's a good dad. He's a great father. Yeah. yeah. He is. And Gordon is a great guy, right? Right. It's just that there are some things that he's battling, and sometimes it's just not so, you know, exciting to be in the same environment right. with right. someone who's going through certain things. So in terms of our friend Ink, who's here in the Oprah chairs. When did you two first meet? Uh, we were 16 in high school. Wow. Yeah. So you dated, it didn't work out, and then you came back together yeah. later. Yeah, it didn't work out because of our careers. Was he always in the back of your mind, though, always. through these years? Yeah. Always? Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. um, if you were having <laughs> an affair right before you got married, why go through with the wedding? No, 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 no. We weren't having an affair before we got married. Okay. It was after I got married, and unfortunately, once you get married, you know, things, sometimes people change. Was or... there something that happened? Sorry, I'm interrupt. Yeah, no, was good. Was there something that happened in the marriage that you decided to pivot? Thank you. Or yes. some, was yes. there an inciting event? No, there was an exciting event. Inciting. Was... Not, inciting. Okay, yes. Not okay. exciting. Okay, yeah, inciting. Inciting. Yes. Event. Inciting. yes. Um, so I did realize that after I married Gordon that I wasn't quite sure if he was the man that I wanted to marry. You know, he wanted to have threesomes. He wanted another lady in our marriage. And I just realized that I was like, I'm not sure if this is something that I want forever. You know, whereas yeah. though, um, I just feel like I'm not sure if that's like the real definition of love. You know, um, I think that Gordon is very excited to have, like I love him and I think we're always gonna be really good friends. We have these beautiful babies. Yeah. We are co, yeah. like we are co-parenting so well. You do have and really beautiful babies. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Really and do. I want that for them. So we are making it work and Ink is very supportive on all elements when it comes to And that. sometimes the person you marry and you, you marry each other and you're in this phase and then you start to grow and you just, grow differently yeah. so like Very what true. was what you might have been okay with you all of a sudden go yeah what I'm starts what That's starts okay. in a strip yeah. club with steak and lobster doesn't end there. there yeah yeah thank you very much Moving on to Candace Dillard Bastard she's has announced her departure from the Real Housewives of Potomac but Robin Dixon getting fired it hasn't been confirmed yet so Candace says this is not a farewell but a see you later she did an exclusive interview with People Magazine, and here is what the article reads. Candace Dillard Bastard is saying goodbye to the Real Housewives of Potomac. The singer who joined the series in season three tells People exclusively that she won't be returning to the reality series for its upcoming ninth season. As I embark on a new chapter after six remarkable years with the Housewives of Potomac, I am filled with gratitude for the enriching friendships, personal growth, and moments of introspection that have defined this journey. Dillard Bastard 37 says, with a whirlwind of new opportunities and responsibilities on my plate, I have decided to take a break from the Real Housewives of Potomac. She goes on to tease that her exit might only be temporary, noting that this is not a farewell, but a see you later. The Drive Back Songtress ends her note with a message of thanks to her fans. Your unwavering support has been my guiding light, and I look forward to the exciting adventures that lies ahead, and more importantly, sharing them all with you, she says. 
Now, I'm not going to read the entire article, but the article did add emphasis that it was Candace's decision to leave the show and she wasn't fired. Um, I'm glad she decided to leave because the way the cast and production was treating Candace and Wendy, I couldn't stand to watch it anymore. It was just becoming too much. I would have rather seen Ashley or Robin leave. And you can't tell me that Ashley did not know that her tired ass friend had plans to confront Candace. This broad has been stirring up drama since she first was introduced on the show. Lying, saying people's husbands staring at her. Meanwhile, they ain't paying her no damn mind. Um, Deborah's lying ass told a different story than what was heard on the audio. Come to find out she was the instigator. She attacked first. She attacked first, which left a woman bleeding to the point where she had to be rushed to the damn hospital. And then the heifer get online and start bragging about it. So I hope that Ashley does get her pink slip also, um, because you, you're not bringing much to the show. Never have, never will. Um, Michael Darby is not on the show anymore. You can't even talk about him. Otherwise, he's going to drag your ass back to court. So why are you here for her? Her sole purpose was to spectate and then run back gossip to the group. And I hope her friend uh, Deborah has been banned. Um, a restraining order placed against her because she shouldn't be allowed to even be near the group. She's violent. Anyway, Candace, your absence will be felt. Trust me. Um, no one can do it like you on this show, your reads. Um, and I remain hopeful that one day you will return. Even if it's just a friend of the show, you will be missed. But I'm curious as to how the dynamics will shift now that one of the green eyed monsters is off the show reportedly. So according to exclusive reports from the Jasmine brand, Robin Dixon a reality star who has been with the Real Housewives of Potomac since its inception in 2016 is allegedly departing from the show. However, we've learned that she might still make guest appearances in the future. As of now, the information remains unconfirmed. OK, so it hasn't been confirmed yet. Um, I didn't believe it until it comes from the horse's mouth. I won't believe it. Hopefully it's true. Anyway, that is all I have. Make sure you guys leave your thoughts in the comments. Um, I will talk to you guys later. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye.